if you have a large data set that you're pivoting off of and it's data that's constantly changing or even being added on to um, while you're pivoting it's important to note that there's two uh, specific ways that you need to handle these changes within the pivot table to make sure that the change cascades through properly so let's go ahead and make a pivot table of this mock company and we're gonna focus on the delivery method and sales revenue for this example here so we're gonna add the pivot we're gonna look at sales revenue by delivery method and we can see that this particular company has three distinct shipping methods air ground express and ground standard but let's say recently this company has determined that it's going to bring in a new type of shipping method and we actually made a mistake and shipment 100 was actually via this new shipping method and it's and it's going to be called value ground and now if we go back to the pivot table we'll notice that it didn't automatically capture the change and to do that we need to go back here and click refresh and we see that value ground now is included so if we change anything within the existing data set we have to make sure that we click refresh to make sure it gets captured now let's say that this is a living document and all new sales are getting captured and there's two new ones that just came across and we're gonna make these all the same let's change these up a bit these are the sales revenue we're gonna make it a hundred dollars and a hundred dollars but everything else is gonna be the same here so now we have included three value ground shipping or we've added two to the existing one and we originally had fifty two dollars being sold but now we have two hundred more dollars being sold via this method and when we go back here we see that the fifty three is still the only thing being captured and if we go here and click refresh it still doesn't capture those new lines to capture those new lines we need to go to change data source so we click this option here and we see it goes down to row 101 and we've just added to 103 so we need to make sure that we capture 103 and hit OK and this will actually automatically refresh the data to capture those 200 additional sales via value ground so just remember if you have a living data set that you're pivoting off of and you change existing data you're gonna to have to click refresh for it to cascade through and if you add new data onto your original data set you need to change the data source and you do that by using this icon here. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.